In this lesson, which is lesson 7.2, the connection between function return values and variables, I am going to be explaining to you one of the most important principles used in programming. Now, if you have observed the lessons up until now, you have noticed that when we create a function, such as the main function, we gave it a data type just as if it was a variable. For example, we write like so. So here we are saying that the main function has a return value of int and then at the very end of our main function we write return 0 where we return an integer. We learned that any function can return a value. Now while I have not officially addressed it in a lesson until now, I want to point out that the printf function returns an integer which is the number of characters that were printed. Every function that returns a value always returns that value according to a specific data type. That means that the same data types available for creating variables such as short, int, care, and so on are also the same data types available for defining function return values. So let's take a look at the following code. If I write print f hello reddit we know that the print f function returns a value which is the number of characters printed in this case 13 remember that this is an integer because the function print f has a return type integer now let's suppose i create a variable of that same data type int total characters equals zero. Now I have created a variable called total characters that can hold any value so long as it is of the integer data type. Notice that it should not be used to store any other data type, only integers. In addition to this variable, I also have the printf function which, whenever ran, will return a value that is of the data type integer. Any time I run the printf function, it will return an integer, which will be the number of characters that were printed. What I want you to notice is this. The function printf and the variable total characters are compatible. They share the same data type. Whenever a variable is compatible with the function's return value, the variable can be, be assigned the return value of that function. What this means in simple terms is that because printf returns a, an integer and because the variable total characters is defined as an integer, this means that the variable can be assigned whatever value was returned by the printf function. This is true for all variables and functions. For example, if I create a variable like this, unsigned short int total equals 5, then this variable total can now store the return value of any function whose return type is unsigned short int. If I say care some character equals the letter A, then this variable can store the return value of any function whose return type is care. This is only part of the story. The next part is also important. Whenever a function returns some value of a certain data type, that entire function can be used anywhere that that particular data type was expected the same way as if the function itself were a variable. In other words, since printf returns an integer, I can use an entire printf function anywhere that I can use an integer. I can even perform mathematical operations like this. Here is an example. Let's suppose I write um, int cool trick equals zero, cool trick equals five plus printf something. Now the integer cool trick will contain the value of 14. That's because printf returns a 9 since it prints 9 characters 
and then the 5 and the 9 are added together to get 14. Keep in mind that because the printf function returns an integer return value, that means it's the same thing as if I had written 5 plus 9 instead of the printf statement. So keep that in mind. Whenever you put a function anywhere in your programming code, you can use that function the same way as if it was its particular return value. So in this case, you can use the printf function anywhere that you would use an integer. Now I encourage you to experiment with this yourself. Just take the first program you wrote and modify it so that you can use these concepts. Let me show you how you can use the printf function to print an integer. So in order to do that you basically write printf and then you write out uh, let's say uh, displaying a number whatever you want to write and then put percent %d now the percent %d will be a placeholder that will hold the value of the integer that you're printing. So what we can do is simply put cool trick right here. And now uh, you'll see that, that this will work. So let's go ahead and run this, this program. So take a look at what happens here. First of all, notice that the printf statement that prints something executes. And you see that here. And then you'll see our other printf statement where it says displaying a number and then we put cool trick which is actually 5 plus 9 and which is of course 14 and so it says displaying a number 14. The percent %d gets automatically replaced by whatever variable you send to the printf function is. So let me show you one more example of this. Let's suppose that we write int total equals 5 printf the total is percent %d we'll put total right there and if we run this you should already be able to see it's going to say the total is 5 so there you go the total is 5 you can also put more than one number um, by more than 1 percent %d so for example we can put total then we could put 5 and then we could put let, let's actually make that 8 so you can see that it's different and we can even put total plus 3 as an integer or we and we could even let's add one more we'll add another uh, percent %d put some spaces on either side here and we can even put a printf statement here printf 1 2 3 um, actually let's let's make that 4 5 6 7 printf Seven. That way it's going to print seven characters. So take a look at this line. We're going to print the total is and then we're going to have four numbers, each number separated by a space. And those, the first one is going to be total. The second one is going to be the number eight. The third one is going to be whatever total plus three is. And then the next one is going to be the return value of this printf statement. So if we run this, take a look. Now look at what happens. The printf statement that prints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 executes, and you can see the output right here, and then it says the total is 5, 8, 8, 7. So again, I encourage you to experiment with this, and if you get stuck, feel free to ask any questions, and I'll be glad to help you out.